These folks are prepared to give their life to save you. You know how powerful that is? That was Yukon Fire Chief William Perez referring to the 50 Yukon Fire personnel who work day in and day out at both the stores and Farmington stations to keep the Yukon community safe. Whether they try to help you medically and take save your life or go into a burning building and perish to save an absolute stranger, that's a special calling. Yukon's main station, Station 22, is home to a fleet of vehicles, including four ambulances, the fire ladder truck, and the station's main fire engine. Perez says the fire trucks are used on average at least once a day, and the ambulances are out pretty frequently too. Those go out every single day. I think the engine goes out every single day too. I, don't, I can't imagine there would be a day that the engine didn't go out. The ladder, not as common. So here's what happens. The call comes in. 911, where's your emergency? The dispatcher determines the type of call and what okay. resources are needed. Yeah, what's going on? And then makes an announcement over the PA to the whole fire station. Okay. You're doing alumni squad three, any ball. 654, Gilbert Grove, in the room 402. Smoke in the room, possibly do the cooking. Firefighters then suit up and head out. When a call comes in, Yukon Fire has about 45 to 60 seconds to get from this to this with about 75 pounds worth of gear on them to this. The gear is all set up in advance in order to reduce response time. Real time, it took me about three minutes to get all of this gear on with the help of the professionals. In that amount of time on an actual call, Yukon firefighters could already be at the scene. Not Perez says Yukon emergency fire staff fire is familiar no. with the building served like no other station personnel can be because Yukon owns the buildings. They, these firefighters become very familiar to where they're going, amazingly, because once I, once I came here about a year and a half ago, I realized that, wow, these folks actually know every single hallway, every single building, and most rooms. I, I mean, it, it's pretty incredible. In addition to the Yukon community, first responders here also service about seven other surrounding towns when called for mutual aid. And when Yukon needs it, they return okay. the favor. You, for UCTV the room, News, right? you I'm Luke